Central Florida Back to School Festival is an event um, to basically show unity in the community between different organizations. Um, you know, all of us could have been somewhere else doing our own events, but you know, it showed unity between each other and coming together. I think is a good picture for the community. We really like to show that. And it, well, first, and it's still a lot of different events um, um, that's out there that's going to be still going on. I had made a post. Also, oh, Miles, we both agreed to make a post, and we asked you know, our you know, community, uh, would it be more effective to do one back to school event, coming together, bringing all of our resources together, um, and we got a lot of feedback, and we was like, hey, let's run with it. So now, were you involved in, in back to school events before this one? Yes. Uh huh. So, uh, so now, so what is the goal right now? I mean, how how many kids are you going to try to reach? Um, our goal this year is 500 students. Um, also, we have different resources plans that to reach the parents as well. So it's not just the students; it's also the parents as well that we're going to be reaching. Um, the, the the whole message this year is school safety with all the different things that's going on in the schools, school shootings. Uh, we want to also prep the kids for the school safety, um, how to prepare themselves if it wasn't a school shooting, also how to prevent those things happening, like bullying. So we definitely want to type into that school safety this year. So it sounds like this even ties a little bit back into what Miles is doing with the, uh, you know, some of the outreach that he does. Right. You know, with, with his other organizations, reaching out to the schools and young people and stuff like that. Right. So it all kind of comes together. Yeah. So now, reaching that many people and supplying them, so what are you trying to um, so we're gonna the goal is to supply each child with a book bag, um, paper, pencils, pens, rulers, and erasers. So, so now where is the money coming from? Did you um, all of the money so far has been donated. Uh, we have different people that's been vendors um, that showcasing their business at um, the events. Um, a few commissioners reached in their pockets and helping us out as well. So, okay. So now, or is it open key? Do you want other people if they have the ability to contribute? You know, can they contribute? How Definitely. They we um we have a website, Central Florida Back to School website, where they can register as a um, vendor, a volunteer, or just to register their child as well. So now the actual event, when is that going to be, and where is that going to be? It's going to be August 4th at the Hughes Boys, Club, Boys and Girls Club, right here on West Amelia Street, 900. So that's, yes. the, that's the A School, is that yes. correct? Yes, sir. Okay, so uh, so now the people who are going to, who want to get something, they have to register in advance and show up? Right. Well, they don't have to register, but you know, we're asking them to register so we can get a feel um, how many students that we're looking forward to having. But they, it's not required to register, but we're asking to register. So. so, so what does that mean for kids to have supplies on the first day of school? What, what, what do you think that means? I think it means a lot. Um, and, and that's why we're coming together with different organizations to make it because we also mean that it's important to make sure that we can supply those same students with supplies throughout the school year as well because they start with supplies but also not many of them finish with supplies so we want to be able to start them and also help them with a second event um, to help them finish school as well. So I guess that does make you feel a little better when you start school the first day and you got your stuff. Right. You're ready to learn. And also it, it paints the picture because sometimes, you know, when I was in school and the, and the teacher said a student that didn't have supplies, they automatically thought that student was going to be the student that gave them all of their problems. So it's already, you know, we can reduce that, you know, the statistics of pointing our students out.